Hello, Floss Tube. Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches. Um, coming at you. Hold on a second. Sorry. Um, with my. Can't grab this. Hold on a second. Oh. Good lord. Here we go. My Floss Tube update number 265. Today is uh, January 14th, uh, and this, I'm doing a new year, new tablet, new to me tablet. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying not to sneeze. Um, this is my, it is take two on this uh, video, um, having a little trauma ta uh, difficulty with this this is a new tablet um i've been having issues with my my other tablet um and so i decided to try something different try recording all my videos on this tablet and using the other tablet for other things and um i did something wrong <laughs> a little while ago um i think it was me i think i hit retry instead of okay but anyway we shall see so this is not a new tablet this is a samsung just like my other one but uh it's new to me it's it's was my nephew's uh older tablet and so i'm uh in the process of just purchasing for him anyway so uh so like i said this is my my second take on trying to do this. Uh, let me know, please, if there are any problems with this video. Um, I just decided to dive right in and try uh, try doing it. So um, before I get started talking about uh, my stitching, uh, which I did very little of really um, since the last time I saw you, I wanted to talk about, uh, since I have this handy, my sisters and I, on our uh, Three Sisters Creative channel, um, we got a package from, uh, the return address says, the Double Cross Stitcher in, uh, in Illinois. But there was not, um, like, a card or, or anything accompanying it, so we're assuming that this person is a fan of our of our uh, sticks and strings videos, but she or he I don't know. Um, this person <laughs> sent us some uh, very nice patterns. So this one from the Nebby Needle, Hope Blooms, and it's a series. Um, it says ripple effects patterns, sprang from an idea of Meg Ripples. An avid stitcher, Meg asked if I would design cross-stitch patterns of inspiration for her fellow cancer patients. Although Meg lost her battle with cancer, I carry on her vision with this pattern. The Nebby Needle profits from this design will be donated to the American Cancer Society in Meg's memory. So it's really pretty. I'm going to try to get away from the glare there. There's a little pillow. Hope blooms. So that's a really pretty design, right? So, uh... Yeah, and I think that um, original was done on 36 count uh, uh, fabric. Um, Bonnie Woomer is the person who uh, designed that and stitched it. Right? And then this is uh, from uh, Meow the Marrier. This is uh, one of the designs from Expo by Darling and Whimsy Designs. Plant Pots, P-A-W-T-S. There's cuties. Really pretty. Um, and so, this is on, stitched on 28 count Mushroom Lugana. Um, and, yeah. So there's that. That's cute. And then she sent... Also, this by Stitchy Pros called Soul Gardeners. 
It says, friends are the gardeners of our souls. And there's a couple of birds there. And a big uh, pot of flowers. So, yeah. I mean, it's really cute. So, thank you to whoever uh, sent that. Excuse me. Okay. So, um, last week... I talked about um, one of my Whipco pulls for uh, for last week, for January. They were number six and number ten, so number six was Sleepy Hollow. And I was working on this uh, second uh, panel here. I'm, I'm doing them as drums, as individual drums, and so I've not done any of the... They have... They each have, each have a, a design for the top of the drum. And I haven't done any of those uh, toppers yet, but anyway, so I'm working on this one here. I've I've done I finished this first strip, and I'm working on the second strip. And one of the things I discovered, I think I talked about this last time, is that um, when I once I started doing these skeletons, I realized that I had I had done one of the green sh shades across the bottom. Unfortunately, I had not done both of them, but. Um, I miscounted in in this area right here so uh, yeah so I was fudging it by just like basically stitching over the the errors but um, and then I realized right before I did the the video last time that I had not finished this border so I finished it so that this is the end of that and then I finished the skeletons and I they're all done in uh, etoile so they're a little sparkly, and there's a, a couple of little stars up there, and I did that bat. And I put in the pumpkins. I finished. The, I didn't do the little stems on the pumpkins, but, um, but I wanted to, uh, and I put in, this is the bottom of the tree. It's just a little stump. The tree takes up this most of this space here. Uh, and then I, uh, the, I put a, a little bit of the tombstones there because... I know where they're gonna go, uh, you know. So when I get around to finishing the grass and everything, I can kind of you know fudge uh, everything and put everything in the right place. But so I wanted to do everything that touched that grass, so that I could put it all in the right place, you know, counting wise, and then fix that uh, grass as I come to it. Because it's correct over here up until this this pumpkin, yeah. So anyway, so I like that's how much I finished in the six days that I worked on that. And you know, the month is young. I still have I still have FFOs to do. Hopefully, it won't take me that long. And uh, and then I have new starts. I have I had that one start uh, that I sh talked about last week that I did for. New Year's, and there's a little bit of, I don't know what that glare is. <laughs> um, so hopefully um, I'll have some time to maybe work on, maybe do another day or two on on, uh, on that, as well as my other things. So the other uh, Whipco number that was pulled uh, was number 10, and I had uh, only six days uh, as a goal on there. But I may do another day or two or whatever. Just, I don't know. Um, but so what I had put on there as uh, to work on for uh, this uh, particular pull on number on my Whipco board was um, the four of the... Five of the... Uh, rabbit rabbit designs because I did January February and March are finished um, they're not FFO of course <laughs> but they're I finished stitching them and so I have April May June and July August September October November December so but so for the for the whip go poll I did I wrote uh, April May June and July so I worked a little bit on each one so this is uh, April, and I had just before I had just done 
part of one bunny. I hadn't even finished a bunny yet. Um, and so this goes like this. Um, so I finished the one bunny and I did like some of uh, this, these, these flowers and part of the middle, uh, you know, there's some green, uh, greenery, green stems, you know, and things like that. Um, uh, and then the, the rabbits, the inside of their ears and their tails are all, uh, you know, have to be put in and the other two rabbits. There's a total of four. So I just did two rabbits and all that other inside stuff. So I have not done there. And this is um, all the rabbits. The tiny modernist uh, Sleepy Hollow is done on 28 count Lugana that I dyed myself. These are all, all the rabbit rabbits are done on um, 32 count Murano Carre from uh, Hobby Lobby. And this is the colorway taupe with this... Uh, gingham pattern but there's a taupe and a gray and so this one is taupe this uh april one and then may is this has the you can't see it very well but there's the little white bunnies on there and uh, this light colored fabric um the fabric is 36 count shale linen and i think they use the same fabric for all of their all of these uh, designs but i went with different colors for different designs and stuff so this is the may design and i think on this on this uh, mustard color i think that's what the name of this is i don't, I don't have the tag on it but um the rabbits show up better at least <laughs> the the flowers you know have a little bit of uh, you can see them a little bit but so I did, you know, these little kind of stems um, and a little bit of the, the flowers here. I think I did the, the, these uh, parts of the flowers, but I finished, I had not quite finished this corner flower. Um, and I, yeah, I did like the stem on, on the next one, but I did not, you know, work on this one yet. But, you know, I put in a little, a little effort on finishing the that other color on that one. So that's M M May. And June is uh, this one here. And I think I had done three of those bunnies and, and like two of these, these hearts here. And that's about it of what I had done on that. So I did a little bit more. This is ice, is this color. And um, so I did another bunny, and, a, and you can see the outlines of the little flowers that go in there. And um, and I did this uh, middle section here. So that's uh, June. And some of those, uh, I'm, I'm sort of, I had doubled up and shared the fabric on some of them, but um, yeah. So this is July. This is the one I've been working on uh, the last couple of days. Yesterday and today. Uh, and what's this here? I, I worked on, I, I think I might try to finish a little bit more of the border all the way around just to get that out of the way because it's, it's as opposed to these other, uh, the other designs, this is a, sort of a continuous border all the way around. Um, and I had, I think I had, I had not quite finished this this bunny, so I went ahead and finished it, and then I started I started just today on on uh, this other bunny here, but I did part of the middle here, and there's like one green stitch that goes in the very middle here. I have not done that, but these are the the insides of the ears and the eye and nose of the rabbits that go around here. So that's so why I'm working on this guy here. I think I've got his eye and his nose in there. Yeah, goes like that. But uh, I haven't done the rest of his body yet. So that's July. So that's really all the stitching I've done. Just today was the second of the six days. Um, so like I said, I have to do my, I have new starts and the F FFOs. I haven't done yet because we still have, you know, a little bit of this, uh, you know, 
Christmas mess that we're putting away little by little. We've all been sick here. We've sort of passed a cold around between the three of us. My nephew and my older sister and me, we've all kind of, you know. So I came down with this, you know, whatever crud we're having um, a couple of days ago. So there's a lot of sneezing, a lot of coughing. I don't think it's COVID. Everybody's, you know, kind of crazy about COVID. Uh, my older sister did a COVID test uh, a few days ago and it came back negative. And so I'm assuming that we're all good. Anyway, we've been staying home anyway because we were, you know, feeling cruddy. Had uh, had a few groceries, had them delivered, you know, because we neither of us felt like felt good enough to go out. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and uh, so yeah, so we're probably gonna hold up uh, hold up a few more days. I was supposed to go uh, to some function uh, on Friday yesterday, and I was like, mm, you know, I think on on Thursday I was like already coming down with this. I'm like, you know. Part of part of it is that, of course, I don't want to spread germs to other people, but also the some of the people that go to this have you know have little kids, you know, young young children, and you know certainly don't want to you know share my germs with the world. So <laughs> anyway, so uh, so. I still have to, uh, so I haven't done any of the FFO stuff because that would entail, you know, pulling out more stuff out of the, um, like the ironing board and the, and the various things, whatever. Um, and they would entail making a mess, you know, another mess on, on top of that. So I've been kind of putting, putting off, uh, doing that sort of thing. Um, but I'm hoping to to get back to that part of it is i think um i have some stuff in the garage uh, some finishing things and um i have bought some the things i showed you last week i i you know to 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 finish with for these projects but um i also you know for upcoming projects i want to go through that stuff and see what i have because i know i was buying stuff left and right going oh this is good for finishing this will be good for finishing and you know and then I ended up putting them on in the garage and then in the course of trying to do various things like um, some time ago we had a, a, a guy who came in to work on our garage door because our garage door was had to be replaced. And so we had to move everything like toward the away from the garage door, like, you know, toward the front of the garage, the inside of the garage. So things got, got piled up. And so all my finishing stuff is kind of in that pile. So we have to like sort of unpile it. But in the meantime, we had Christmas, we had various things, you know, in the garage. So things are kind of in a jumble. And all my finishing things are part of that jumble. And so, um, so part of me wants to look at that because like, you know, I've got all these, it's one of my FFO goal, one of my whip go goals is to FFO things. And so I know that in that pile, you know, what, well, as a matter of fact, for the rabbit rabbits, um, my idea was, um, to like, to display them. In, I have this little, you know, kind of a box, a metal box with a wooden lid that I got at Target and, uh, in their dollar spot, I believe. And, um, and part of the idea was to make a, a flat, uh, thing, you know, finish with magnets and put it on that lid of that can. And then I could have the other, other months in there and I could, you know, display a different one each month and have the others in that, in that canister thing, um, to be, uh, displayed. I don't know. So, um, whatever, if, you know, that, that remains to be seen. And also, uh, on my FFO list are my Black Rock Angels, and I know those are in that, in that, um, uh, finishing bin also, um, you know, so I, I've got to get them out because I've got to do that. I've, that's one of my FFO projects. Um, so, you know, and then my, my fabric bin is out there and it's, you know, a, a little bit inaccessible right now, but so all that stuff, there's, there's not a really good place to put it inside here, but. But uh, I need to at least be able to go through things and and, uh, and make some decisions about what I need and what I have. You know, I don't even know what I have because I bought so much 
<laughs> so many things. Anyway, but um, so hopefully I can get uh get get going on some of that FFO stuff now. And then the other thing that's uh, that I was on my Whipco board is these new starts. And one of them I, I talked about last week, this spicy disaster. Um, I started that on New Year's Day as my New Year new start thing. And I would like to get that done. I think that's next on my agenda um, uh, for stitching. And then I have to choose another uh, new start. And I will probably uh, go with um, the January um, Year in the Woods from Cottage Garden Samplings. I have all 12 of them. And I had um, chosen a fabric. I don't know. Um, I have to look again at the fabric I have because I wanted to do them all on a um, similar fabric. So, um, I wanted to do them all on, um, I had, um, a piece of linen. It was either, either I, it was the 28 count cashel linen or 32 count, um, some other color linen, <laughs> um, but they, but they, um, uh, Bristol, Bristol linen. Is that right? I don't know. Anyway, something with a B. But I think they're two different counts. I think one is 32 count, one is 28 count, I think. So, um, so I have some, but I think not quite enough because I can't, I can't quite fit two designs on each piece of fabric. I can almost, but I'm like, mm, I'd be cutting it really close. So, um, so each piece is not going to be big enough for two. Um, and I don't have quite enough fabric yet. So I, I have to look at my stash and see what I've accumulated. Because I've been like trying to buy the, the Bristol linen. And, and I bought I think I bought some Cashel linen. Um, so I have to decide what, I, what I'm going to do about that. Um, but... Um, and I think I'm, I'm probably going to have to dye some fabric to, 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 to accommodate all of those. And I would like to get the fabric all dyed at once so that it's all kind of the same um, before I get started on them. So I have to look at that real quick um, because, you know, the month of January is halfway over. Um, and if not that, then I might just do those on the side and find something else to, to start as my new start for January along with the, the spicy disaster, which I do want to finish uh, before the end of this month. Um, so I think that is all for this uh, second version of uh, the, my new video. And I'm hoping that I've uh, got everything working right with this tablet. I, it's a little bit... Um, new to me because it's it's you know it's a little different than than my older my other tablet that i've had so i don't know um if i've got it set up right or whatever but so let me know in the in your comments in the description box below if um if you're having any trouble if if i need to do something different or whatever so yeah let me know about that and Last time, oh, last time I got cut off, uh, you know, several of you uh, let, me, let, let me know. And I know that it had happened. It, you know, it said time limit reached and, and, you know, cut me off. And I was going to, like, you know, try to record a tag to explain that or say something about that. And I just ended up not doing it. Because I basically had reached the end of what I was going to say. Um, I was just talking about the pattern mother and the fact that, you know, it's it's a nice pattern. It's a lovely pattern, but it has um, it doesn't have like it's got some flowers on there that are either buttons or or um, or like fabric rib, uh, flowers or whatever. But it doesn't say anything about them, about placing them, about what they are, about where you got where they're from, or whatever anything about them. 
So, um, you know, it was just kind of a, a mystery. So I'm going to try to see if, you know, what to put in there, but you know, it's not, it's not on my, it's not on my WIPCO list and it's not a high priority. Um, I just, it's one of those one that someday I want to finish it. So I'm going to have to figure out what goes in those spaces, you know, cause it doesn't say at all. Um, but so, um, that was all I was going to say about that. Um, but, um, so yeah, I was basically done last time, even though it cut me off. So hopefully <laughs> this is this second time with the charm on this new tablet. And, um, I think that's it. Mm, yeah. So thanks for watching and, um, I'll see you next week. Um, bye.